Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over installation of a valve cover on a 2.5 five-cylinder engine. So here we have our valve cover assembly. When you purchase this valve cover, uh, you will get the, all the bolts that mount it on there as well as the studs where the engine cover mounts onto uh, that are a part of the valve cover assembly and also it will include a gasket. Now this part is most often replaced because of a failure of this PCV valve. This PCV valve can either tear or, or break down and cause leaks in the, there's a diaphragm inside here. Now, we are aware that there is an aftermarket version of uh, to replace just this diaphragm. We generally recommend to, av to avoid that situation because while it can save you money, we've heard of a lot of people who mention that after they replaced it, it's still leaking or having a similar problem to what they were experiencing in the first place. We can start by removing the engine cover. Now this particular vehicle we're working on has an aftermarket intake. So normally what you would have would be a duct that would run here uh, to the front radiator support of the vehicle for, for directing airflow into the engine cover, which is also uh, the air box, the air filter is housed inside here. And then a pipe that would run from here to the throttle body. So once you would remove those pipes, the, the duct, and then that pipe that attaches, all you do is pull up and there are grommets that hold the engine cover on. And once you get it off the four grommets, you can, can kind of rotate it around. And as you can see here, this is the grommet that mounts the engine cover on. Once the engine cover is removed, we can remove the ignition coil connectors. Now, to do so, you push down on this tab and then pull backwards. A lot of times the vehicle will get a little bit of dirt under there, so you, the best thing to do is push forward then push down on the tab to release it and then push back and then your connector will slide off. Now some of these, because of where this harness is routed into the valve cover, you're gonna have to kind of pull up on the harness to get it out of its little guide. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to have any room to move the connector back. Now we can just push that out of the way and now we can pick each one of our coils up. Uh, an easy thing to do would be to take a small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver and put it under the back side of the coil and then just lift up. This will make it easy for you. Once you get it up, you can just pull it the rest of the way out. After we've removed the ignition coils, we can start by disconnecting this PCV hose that comes from the valve cover and then reroutes the intake. You can take off this little clamp that holds it in place. And all we do is kind of push back on it and then slide this back. It kind of ratchets in there and it can pull out and give you a little bit of room once you disconnect it. Also pull off that little device there. There are tabs on the top and bottom of it that you have to squeeze and then pull it out. And then that should get it out of our way. Now we can remove all of our bolts that hold the valve cover on. They are around the perimeter and then through the center of the valve cover as well. So as we have a T30 Torx and we can start by removing them. Now, one thing to keep in mind, these won't come out. They stay in the valve cover. So uh, you're just gonna loosen them to the point where you believe they're completely out and then move on to the next one. You'll, uh, you'll find out if they're hung up when you go to take the valve cover off. Now, one thing you may wanna do to get this out of the way is to disconnect the combination valve here at the back, and then you should be able to then pull this whole part of the harness out of the way. So now we can pull that completely out of the way and continue loosening our valve cover bolts. Now these studs back here that actually mount the engine cover are bolts at as well for the actual valve cover.
Now, once we've taken all the bolts out, we should be loose. Now, some of these bolts, if they're not unscrewed all the way, might still be uh, threaded in partially. So what you're gonna wanna do is just take your, take a screwdriver, get it under there, kind of pop everything up, and you'll kind of see, okay, what's well, still potentially holding this on. And then you can have your Torx ready and see if, you know, you still got some screws that are still a little bit threaded in, hanging you up. So it fe feels like we're pretty good. And now we're off. So before we reinstall our valve cover, we're gonna wanna wipe off the sealing surface to make sure that you get a good seal and no, there won't be any leaks. So you just take a rag or paper towels and wipe it off, get any of the gunk that, that's on there off. And you wanna make sure you get around the spark plug holes as well. Make sure you don't have any oil leaking into your spark plugs. And now we're all set. So once we're all cleaned up, we can reinstall our valve cover and keep in mind all new valve covers include the gasket on the valve cover and then all new bolts as well. So once we get that there, we just seat it in place. Everything should line up pretty easily. And it's good to start by just getting a couple of your bolts threaded in maybe at the corners to make sure everything's lined up. Don't go, don't tighten them down all the way. Just get them threaded so you know everything's good. So now we're gonna go ahead and just snug the rest of them up. After that, the only step will be to tighten all of these down to 10 newton meters. Uh, it's good to go in a circular pattern then through the center. Um, just try to keep it tightened down as evenly as possible. Now that we've installed our valve cover and torqued it down, we can install our PCV hose. One note that if you pull the harness out of the way, you will need to reroute it back in place before you reinstall this PCV hose because it needs to go underneath. So we can put our, PC, our PCV hose in, snap it in place, lock down that clamp, and then put this clamp on. And now we can reinstall our ignition coils and harness. And you have, we have all those locked in place. And it's good to get all the coil connectors kind of slid on in place before you lock them all in place, just to make it a little bit easier. Once you get this all right, that's all in place. We have our harness routed in. Make sure we plug back in our combination valve. And we are ready to reinstall our engine cover. And our final step is to install the engine cover. And we can do so, we wanna put the back portion, kinda of angle it down, and then get it done on the mounts. And you can kinda of feel it sit in the right place, and then you can just pop them down. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.